And it's eerie here just to just to be here and see how it was you remember it when there was a lot of people around and how to just just listen to the wind whistling through see the buzzards are flying around <laughs> Fire started in 1962. I was there the day it started. I was on scene when it started. It was actually a sanitary landfill and they set it on fire and uh, they could never catch up to it. Centralia, Pennsylvania was a very typical mining town. It was founded in the mid 19th century entirely for the purpose of mining coal, no other reason. Centralia was sitting on top of uh, this labyrinth of abandoned coal mines, you know, underneath the entire, underneath the entire town. There, there had been projects all along, you know, to try to deal with the mine fire. They were all failures, they were all underfunded. Nobody believed that it could eventually destroy the entire town. This was residences right here, yeah. There was once a bar on the corner right here. The railroad station sat right over here on the left side. I still remember being in their house when the steam locomotive had come down and watching the, the picture frames on the walls bouncing. <laughs> People that lived close to the railroad that, that knew when they heard that train whistle to get outside and get their wash off the lines. <laughs> all that black soot had be all over their clothes. I mean, that there's 24-7 news channels and everything we're in, you know. And they just came in here and they dwelled on it and dwelled on it. Scared the crap out of the people that lived in the town with all these stories of what was going to happen, you know. And to me, that was a... Uh, they actually fanned the flames of the fire in the people's minds. 